The impact could be felt in classrooms here in Kansas City today, too. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundas talked with local teachers about the reality of this violence. Okay. They'll tell you teaching our next generation felt heavier today. Jason Roberts, the president of Kansas City Federation of Teachers, has heard his community say. If they were to die from a school shooting, uh, to politicize the hell out of it. We'll take bullets for our students, and, and that's a real, just a real fact of our profession, which is scary. Jennifer Gwinner teaches at Northeast Middle School, the same school where a student was stabbed and killed outside. In all honesty, um, today was a normal day because I think that our students, they are numb to the school shootings. It doesn't even affect them because it's been around their whole life. She knows urban education to be different. Our kids are used to seeing violence especially in the city on a regular basis anyway, not just the school shootings, but I don't have, I have very few students that don't know someone who's not been shot by guns. Poverty, systemic racism, the pandemic, learning gaps, behavior issues, socio-emotional problems that teachers must meet their students at and help deal with. But she says to add concealed carry to that list. Adding me to have a gun is one more thing on my plate that I have to get training for. Something else that I have to worry about, a kid getting it, something else. And I have too much to do than to worry about that. If I had to carry a gun, I'd be gone. I'd quit the moment it happened. They say while well, already under a mass exodus of teachers, retention and safe schools are important. They don't feel supported by administration across the country. They don't feel that they're valued. Um, schools are unsafe. And of course, pay is is a factor. Do I think that there should be sweeping changes? Absolutely. Do I believe that they're going to be? No. In Kansas City, Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.